to Liskin at Sound. Ed was my favorite guitar player. And in the beginning, I didn't even know he played guitar. But first of all, he played a, a Fender guitar. So there was that. And B, he was a phenomenal guitar player. Now he had the opportunity to bring his knowledge into the band and he was, you know, he wasn't a Southern guy. He was from California. So, so now they had this added to their pool of thought. Once I became the third guitarist in the band, integrating myself was so much easier than being a bass player. I mean, uh, pretty much I stayed out of the other guy's way. I found myself a third part. I try not to play too much, which I realize now I still overplayed some. But I thought we integrated very well, and the crowd loved it. But I think my really clean Stratocaster sound against their dirty Gibsons was a really beautiful contrast. And I didn't have to explain it to them. They just accepted it. Now playing his favorite instrument, King immediately contributed to Skinner's material in a crucial manner. Before the first album had even been released, bringing his compositional skills into the band's daily Hellhouse rehearsals. How a typical day of rehearsal would go, we'd all show up at pretty much the same time. And Ronnie would say to any of the guitar players or whoever, uh, what do you got? And of course, uh, ideas were always flowing. You made sure you showed up at rehearsal with something to work on. And uh, if somebody had something good, you know, Ronnie would be sitting in, the, um, in his corner in the, this long sofa we had. And if he liked it, he'd have his head in his hands and he'd go like this keep going keep going 20 minutes he might come up and and sing a verse i mean sweet home